Kia ora Year 13, this is the excellence question from question 1. The last video was getting too long so I've split it in two but it follows on directly from the data given in the last one so you'll need to have done that one first. Alright, so we had information about gender, whether the student had Facebook or not and whether they owned a cell phone or not. Now I'm going to show you that in the next slide. Here it is here. So we had those tables in the last problem. But in this part of the question, we're told that 349 of the students in the sample were male, had Facebook and owned a cell phone. We've got to figure out the chances that a student is female, doesn't have Facebook and doesn't have a cell phone. So that should suggest to you um, straight away that we're going to work with a Venn diagram. You could do a table, you could do a big table with um, bits chopped in half and that's fine if you like doing it that way, but I'm going to do a Venn diagram. So here's how mine's going to look. I'm going to have um, mail here, Facebook here, and what will I put down here? Cell phone down here. Now obviously it doesn't matter, but it might make your brain hurt a bit less if you do the same circles as me. <coughs> now the probability we're looking for is based on this number out here. Just one thing to highlight is that we're not trying to find a number. If you just find that number, you're going to do a whole lot of work for merit. You need to find a probability. And the key thing we've got to remember is that we're working out of 996 students here. So we'll start in the middle. Um, happily, we're given that number there, that's 349. Now you're going to have to have the tables in front of you. I'm going to flick back and forth. Right, so the next thing we've got to figure out is, well, we can work out how many males are there who own a cell phone, and we can work out how many males are there who've got Facebook. So those two numbers are probably, the, well, that's where I started when I did it. So 408 own a cell phone and are male. So the highlighting tool is quite good here. I know that those two numbers have got to add up to 408. So we'll start with that. And then um, mail and Facebook, those two numbers have got to add up to, what was the other one, 381. But we want to do a bit of working to show what we're doing. So I'm going to change back to the pen. So 408 take away 349 equals 59. So I'm going to put this number in here now. That's 59. Similarly, I'm going to do 381 minus 349 gives me 32 to go in here. Now, the obvious next thing to figure out is how many males did I have in the sample altogether. So I call that number 3, and I call that number 2. What's number 4? Well, total number of males was 463. And if we add those three numbers up, so adding up the 32 and the 59 and the 349, that gives me 440. So the leftover males, that's 23. So that's number four done. Right, now we've got to move over to the other side of the picture where we're looking at the number of females who have got Facebook and who've got cell phones. So this you've got to take a step back and look a bit harder at this. We know how many people have got Facebook and a cell phone all together. So I'm going to skip over to that other slide and show you where I'm looking because I'm going to try and get this cell in here now. Right, so Facebook and a cell phone is yes and yes. So that's 750. Now we can use that to figure out how many females have got Facebook and a cell phone. Oh, sorry. So we have got 750 minus 349. We know that 349 of those 750 people were males. So the rest are females because we're living in maths world. So there we go. We've got um, 750 there. So we can put in that 401. All right, so let's mark that on. So the 401 is done. And now things get a bit easier. I've got nearly all the numbers for cell phone in and we know that I just need my pen back and not my highlighter. Hang on, pen. Right. So cell phone is the next thing we can work out. How many people own a cell phone? Let's see. I know I end up with 80 there, but where's my number? Oh, 889. 
minus. So what's 32? Oh, let's just go a bit slower. 32, not 32. So we want to add up these three numbers here. Right? If we add those up, we get a grand total of 809. So it's 889 minus 809 leaves me with 80 people. So these 80 students are females who have a cell phone but don't have Facebook. The last one that we can get is in here. We can work out how many people have got Facebook but not a cell phone and a female. So Facebook total is 814, right? So where am I getting that from? Well, here's has a Facebook account, and here's the total here. So that's 814. So we're going to use that. Moving backwards, it's 814 minus 32 plus... Oh, so annoying, right? I promise by next week I will have figured out what I'm doing wrong. Plus 401. Okay, that leaves me with 32 people here. Finally, I can add all of those people up and I get the leftover number, which is the females with no Facebook and no cell phone. So there are 20 of them. Right, now don't forget we've got to calculate the probability, not just the number, which is 20. So probability of female... Oh, where's it gone? Here it is here. Female... No Facebook and no cell is equal to a mighty 20 out of 996. What does that end up being? Let's make that a nice decimal number. Hmm, where's my bit of paper gone? It's whatever that number is. It's a very small number. It's going to be about point. 0, 2, and it might have another decimal point, but I don't think so. Okay, so there's your answer. Um, quite unusual to see a Venn diagram question in as an excellence question, but also kind of cool. Um, I really enjoy them, and I know lots of you do too. So the main thing to go over there is just how we got all of the information out of the tables. All right, we had our middle number, and then we just had to work backwards and forwards. Thanks for watching. I'll do some more of the probability paper later on next week.